Hey my loves, it's Jordan Brianna and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So it is currently 519 and um yes I don't usually wake up this early. I'm not gonna have to, I'm keep the beam. I literally wake up at 6 30. I mean 6 or 5 30. Like it's never five o'clock. But my power went out last night and I was just knocked out. I was knocked out. But I decided to wake up and I woke up at like four, three, three fifty, three thirty. And I was like, let me just stay up, you know. But I decided to do a little morning routine because like let me show y'all how I get ready. And yes, it's game day, the last game of the season for football, the basketball season. And that's really all that's important for basketball season. I know that today's the last football game, so why not film? And yeah, we're just gonna be getting we're just gonna be getting ready. And yeah, first I'm gonna go get dressed real quick. So give me a millisecond, y'all. It's rain outside, so let's we're gonna probably just wear a game day regular. So I will see y'all in a millisecond. I'm back, y'all. So basically, what I have on is my cheer day, my game day fleece, and my sweatpants. So yeah, this is literally what y'all wear when it's cold outside. And I just don't feel like trying to find a whole game day outfit. So why not put this on? And I literally love this piece. Like, I'll wear it any time of the day. Oh, y'all. Y'all know what we could do? That chit chat that I never did. Like, we have so much time. So like two, three weeks ago, I had told you guys to ask some questions for a Q&A. Get ready with me. Here, we have a lot of responses. Like, y'all see how much? Yo that's a lot of questions let's start from the bottom what's your biggest aspirations in life i want to be successful like i think that's every, what everybody wants to do but i really do want to be successful and i want to be rich like i'm going to be rich like it's not that i want to be rich i'm going to be rich and i just want to be richer that's all i want to do i want to one thing i want to uh i've always told my mom and stuff is that i want to be able to go somewhere like go on a trip and not have to worry about how much i'm spending not have to worry about saving a certain amount i just want to go Oh, okay. Oh, somebody said they love me from Canada. I want to go to Canada, y'all. I want to go to Toronto for my birthday, but my friends are talking about me just going to Panama City Beach. Ow! Because my birthday is around spring break, y'all. So it's like I never do nothing on spring break because everybody's always out of town. So it's like, it's either I want to go to PBC. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to put my bell on so it won't look stupid. Yeah, I wanted to go to PBC, but... I really want, they want me to go to BBC, but I really want to go to Toronto so I can go see Drake's thing because I love Drake so much, y'all. Like, Drake is literally my idol. He's not my idol, but I just love him. And I'm so mad that I didn't go to his concert. Like, I'm real sad about it. Yo. I have the worst attitude ever. Okay, so, top five best YouTubers. Okay, so the, I don't really know if they're the best, but these are the people that I watch, like, on the regular. I watch AS Maya. Let me go to my feed, cause I don't really know. I just be watching anybody, to be honest with y'all. Oh, Veda Zanyam. Yeah, I love her. Victoria, Victory Marie. She's good, she's good. Soleil, wait, no, is it Soleil? It's Soleil or, no, I think it's Yanni. No, no, it's Yanni I watch, I watch Yanni. I watch Kaya, I think that's how you say her name. Taiki, I watch everybody, so I don't really know who's my, my favorite would probably be AS Maya, but Oh, I watch Ramaria Alexia. I watch her. She's cute. You know, I, I watch Miles Sky. I don't play with my friends. 
I watch her. I watch everybody, so I don't really know who's my favorite. How are you doing mentally? Girl, I'm all right. <laughs> I say this all the time. I say this all the time. I'm all right. How do you balance work, school, cheer, and YouTube? I don't. I don't balance them. How do I balance being a student, athlete, entrepreneur, and YouTuber? I don't. I need to learn how to because I can like forget. You know, it gets lazy over here, you know? I have to get out my lazy habits because that's not good for business. Yeah, it's not good for business and it's like not good. Like I just be so tired, so I need to manage it. Like I, that's something I would say I would have to work on. Am I talking to somebody at the moment? Never, never claim nobody until they claim you. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't, I would say like I'm still a teenager. So like <clears throat> never settle down with nobody. But you know that you're not wasting your time. But right now I'm saying no. Nope. What made you want to do YouTube in here? Oh, um, girl, I was broke. Like, that's really why. Because I was, it was Corona virus, and everybody was making these videos. And I mean, that's not why I started YouTube. But why I started here is everybody was just doing all this stuff, and I wanted to do it too, so I did it. And my video on my hair page, I have seventeen thousand followers on my hair page. I I don't post videos because like, I just don't be feeling like it. But I will. That's something I need to get back to doing. Now I do post on my Instagram, but. Yeah, I need to post every day. That's how I feel like I should. Because I do hair, y'all. Don't get me wrong, I do hair. People be thinking I don't do hair. I still do hair. But it's like, I be so tired to take videos at the end. Like, I don't have time for it. But I was, it was the coronavirus. And I was like, I want to do my own hair. And let me do my hair. Like, I, I learned how to do my hair when I was eight, for real. Because that was before coronavirus. Like, I did it because my mom was supposed to be doing it. But she didn't want to finish. So, I finished for her. And I ended, I ended up doing something just a little bit but it wasn't top tier but i thought it was top notch like i thought nobody could stop me girl i should have took that out because what but my mom was so motivating she was just like oh my god this is so good like my baby know how to do her hair and that's just what it's all about you know and then i was broke and i wanted some money and my mom was not gonna give me money so i got my own money motivation for business be consistent and keep going like it's gonna take time. I tell this to everybody who wants to start a YouTube. It's gonna take time. It might take a year. It might take three months. It might take two weeks. But you never. There's never really a specific day, time, amount when you're gonna blow up. You just have to do it, and you'll see for yourself. You really just have to go for it. You can't give up. You can't give up because, girl, ask my mama. If I was in the summer and my videos was not blowing up, I was like, bro, this is not how this is supposed to be. I'm supposed to be blowing up. Like, I'm trying to do videos that everybody else is doing. I got that day in my life. It wasn't blowing up. I was just so sad, but I just kept going. I posted every week, every two weeks, because that's where everybody else is supposed to. Girl, post every week. I don't know why I was posting every two weeks. I, eventually, I got there, and I was happy when I did. Mm, who and what motivated you to start YouTube? Um, Like, I just wanted to start YouTube because I've always, like, you know, when I was a kid, I always made those little mini YouTube videos. Maybe if y'all search my name, y'all probably find it. I always made those YouTube. I've always been like a YouTuber, so I wanted to do it, and I did it. What motive? Who motivated me? I was really just watching everybody else, but one girl that really did motivate me, I would say is A.S. Maya, cause girl, I love them videos. I wasn't like a super fan. Like I'ma wait the first second, and I was never like that excited. But I was like, yes, girl, I love this video. What inspires you to start doing hair as a profession? Um, I just love beauty. Like, I love beauty. That's why I really want to be a, like an orthodontist because I want to see, like, the smile on people's faces when they see that I fixed their teeth. Like, that's really why I just want to make other people happy and make other people feel beautiful. That's why I do hair. I wanted to stop and introduce you guys to Rose Forever. Rose Forever is a company based in New York, specialized in long-lasting rose arrangements, made of 100% natural, fresh flowers. They only use natural oils to preserve the roses, and the bouquets are handcrafted by professional rose artists. The roses come in round, square, and heart-shaped boxes, with different textures like velvet, suede, marble, and a crystal clear box. They can be found in different sizes, up to 9 to 49 roses, and... They even have a single rose for a, in a mini box. The roses are vegan and they can deliver worldwide. Let me while I'm getting ready. 
Oh, how do you not get overwhelmed with school and extra curricular activities? Girl, I do get overwhelmed like all the time. I get overwhelmed all the time, y'all. Like for real. No no cap. Do I put lashes on? Why not? But I get overwhelmed, y'all. Like, y'all don't understand. There's days where I'll be like, I don't want to do anything because I'm just so tired. That's overwhelmed. I think that's getting overwhelmed because I be getting overwhelmed. You have to find time for your mental state. I just don't be finding time for my mental state sometimes, you know? When there's nobody to keep you motivated, you have to motivate yourself. Because it's really going to be you at the end when you're, like, no weird stuff. But when you're dying, who's going to be there? Like, who's going to be feeling the process of you dying? You. Because you're dying, not nobody else. They're going to be there to support you. Like, it's okay, keep going. But you're dying. So you really have to love your... Oh, girl, my eye was sticking to the top. You have to... Hold on. You have to love yourself first for anybody. And that's just how I feel. And it was a lot of that. That's how I feel. You have to love yourself before you love anybody else. If I was to get in a relationship, y'all, I'm going to have to love myself before I love anybody else. Not loving yourself in a relationship is, I, I, in my opinion, I think it would be like, you see that they're playing in your face and you're just like not, you're ignoring the red flags. That's not loving. Loving yourself, not loving yourself is ignoring the red flags. You know they're not good for you, but you still want to be with them because you want to be with them forever. For what personal reason? But me, that's not loving yourself, girl. Me, I will talk to you all day about how boys are nothing and you don't have to freaking worry about them, bro. But when they're when the right one does come, they have to. I feel like they have to prove as to why they want to be in your life and why you should give them the time of the day and why they deserve to get a text message from you and why they deserve to just, you know, live in your presence. Why they, I forgot, something my mom be telling me. Cause nobody deserves to have your time. Nobody deserves to. They earn it. They earn it. They earn it. And if they don't earn it, you don't have to waste your time. Do not waste your time with these boys, I swear. Don't waste your time with these boys. I be telling myself that all the time. Do not waste your time with these boys because these boys will sit and play in your face. They will play in your face and they will be like, oh my God, I love you and I want to be with you. They will play in your face. That's a lie. First of all, you don't love me. We are 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You don't love me until you're 30. That's how I feel. You can say it all you want, but it's never, you, you really have to show it. You can say it, but you got to show it. Like, like, let me give you a scenario for my teenagers. Because this is just real stuff. This is girl talk, girl. Say he had an ex-girlfriend. No, I'm not speaking like this is not for me. I don't think this happened to me yet. I'm not sure. <laughs> but like, say they had an ex-girlfriend and they were talking to somebody. And they still mess with the ex on the low. And it's for like, you know it. Say they have an ex and they still mess with the ex on the low. But they, they talking about them. Oh, we're going to cut our ex off. And we're going to do all this. So we can take his... First of all, leave him where he at. Leave him where he weird at. That's where I always say. Me and my best friend, we are always say, leave them where they're weird at. Leave them where they're weird at. Because... Don't mind how I'm looking, but what... I was trying to say but I didn't say was if they leave if they leave somebody to talk to you red flag leave them right now because why are you leaving them to talk to me because you can be leaving me to talk to somebody else like yep so we these brothers where they weird because people are going to show you that they're weird and when the first sign of them showing you that they're weird cut them off I'm saving y'all right now from a big traumatic heartbreak what do you mean you should have been cut her off before you even spoke to me because that's weird. Nobody has time for that drama. As soon as you have a girl, text your mom. If, if I get a hey girly, girl, you going boy, you're getting cut off. Like, no questions asked, you're gonna be blocked. And when you try to get in contact with me, you're not even gonna be having no type of way to get in contact with me because I'm gonna block you from life. I'm gonna block you from my life because you why you tried to play me like that. You have to really show these boys who you are because you are you are worth so much more than these boys out here, bro. And they be thinking they is just the stuff. And they can treat any girl how they want to. Maybe humble them if you have to. And if they cry in your face, humble them even more. Because, boy, do you plan on going to college? If so, what college? Um, Yes, I plan on going to college because, like, yes, I'm going to say that I have my college degree. It's not because I have a true passion of going to college. But, girl, I'm going to go to college to make my parents ha happy, to make myself happy. You know, because, like, go to college to get that further education because I feel like when I do I'm saying that I really don't have really interest in going to college 
going to college now, but like when I get there, I'm gonna be like, I learned so much. Oh, and I plan on going to Spelman. That's where I plan. But I'm not with that all girl school stuff. I'm not gonna cut to you. But I don't know why it keeps doing that. Like, look at my lash. It's not even on because I don't know why. Anyways, what's some advice you would give someone who wants to start their own business? Start that business now. Start that business now. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going till you can't no more. Like, that's really all you have to do. Keep going with this. Because we got a lot more questions. Oh, my God. What grade am I in? I am in 10th grade. How did I grow my hair? It's with these jeans, y'all. It's really jeans. Everybody asks me this. It's really jeans. And it's what the freak. In quarantine, I did the rice thingy where I had wore my hair in two braids for two for a week and I just kept spraying it with rice water. That drastically grew my hair. Like for real, and I'm finna do it again. How has life been any new relationships? No, y'all. I don't know. Would I want to get in a relationship? Yes. Because I wanna do all those picnic like I know y'all understand me. Like I wanna do all those cute things. Like I want somebody to be my best friend. Like, you know, I want somebody to be my best friend brand in the boy version but you know and have the privilege of you being my boyfriend because i'm big on calling somebody my boyfriend i will not call you my boyfriend because have you really earned that title of being my boyfriend like one thing i want for myself before the end of 2023 um is to have 50,000 subscribers that's all when did i get my permit y'all got my permit two to a day after my birthday april 11th I, is when i got my permit because i was not the play i was going to get it on my birthday but my birthday was on a Monday, and y'all know the DMV is closed on Mondays for some reason. And I don't know why my birthday ended up being on a Monday, on my 15th birthday. Like, what's going on? Just know, I'm getting my license the 12th now. Biggest accomplishment this year. My hair business is my biggest accomplishment. YouTube is my biggest accomplishment. Getting good grades was my biggest accomplishment because, girl, I always struggled with school when I was younger. How do you make people want to watch your videos? You have to do whatever is appealing to the audience. That's all I have. Like, whatever this girl is doing, you do it too because her video blew up and yours can too. What am I mixed with? White and black and Indian. I, what I want to do after high school, I want to continue my business, do my, continue this other business, continue YouTube, just be rich. That's what I want to do, be rich. How is life? Life is good. You're pretty. Thank you. Favorite dreadhead. Who asked me that? Do I have a boyfriend? Why y'all keep asking me if I have a boyfriend? Do I have a boyfriend? Do I have a boyfriend? No. How did I feel hitting my first K on YouTube? I don't know. It was so fast that I just hit it in literally like 30 minutes. And then I moved to 2K. <laughs> and then I was just like, oh my God. Like, I'm just growing. That's nice. I will see y'all in the next clip because I need to go take a quick nap real quick because I'm tired. We finna finish getting ready, y'all, because ooh, I just had to take a break real quick. I was tired. Okay, y'all, so we're all ready. And this is what the outfit is. This is the outfit. Yep. So, I'll be closing off this video. That is my 5 a.m. Get ready with me. I love you guys so much. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more. Hold on. I was talking too fast. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more content. I love y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you.